Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Guess where we are? Be glad I started here because I was just at Walmart. Went in the Walmart, had to pick up a few things, but I've got a possessed bag over there. Um, they didn't have bologna. It's just a little Walmart. If you live around big Walmarts, you'll know that they have groceries. But our little baby Walmart has little baby grocery aisles with hardly anything in them. Do they, Bonnie? No. I mean, it's weird that you can go in there and buy cake mix and spices and stuff like that. But you can't get a package of bologna. Last night, Mom wanted a bologna sandwich, a fried bologna sandwich. And I called her on my way home and I said, Mom, I'm at the store. Do you need anything? Did I not need yes. it? I yes. did that. No, I'm fine. I don't want anything. There's nothing I want. I get home. Of course you want something I don't have. I said, Mom, I was just at the store. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know. Didn't think of it. It's like, okay. I'll get some tomorrow. Don't bother. I probably won't want it then. Drive me crazy. That woman's going to do it. I'm telling you now. Anyway. She's freaked out right now. And I mean freaked out because of YouTube. So. Pardon me. if I'm sure none of you did it. But somebody sent me a little bottle of perfume. By the way, it's Victor and Rolf, and I looked it up, and it is not cheap perfume. The big bottle of it's like $140. You'll live. Bonnie's dying. <laughs> I'm not giving it away. It's just a tiny, tiny little bottle of Flower Bomb, B-O-M-B. Yeah, no. no, it smells so good, though. And uh, I almost wore it today. But nobody said who it's from. It just had a seller's name. But I don't know where they sold it from. Was. Something's battery is low. I don't know. Somebody sent me a bottle of perfume with no from tag. What was it? One paper. So it's okay now? I have to go charge it. Okay. What be? Oh, that thing. All right. So mom is convinced, sorry this is taking so long to get it out, that I have an admirer on my YouTube that sent me something. But how would they get my address? And then she said, you're not really good about keeping the camera down. Maybe they could just figure it out. No, and I said, well, I don't think so, Mom, no, but no, whatever. So I've been asking around to everybody I know, and nobody knows where it came from. It might be my friend Rick. Rick, if you sent me a bottle of perfume, thank you very much. It smells lovely. And uh, just don't know where it came from. I was going to contact the seller and ask where it came from, but I don't know what platform it was sold from. There wasn't a YouTube sale. There wasn't a whatnot sale. There wasn't, um, oh, what is the other place? eBay. There wasn't an Etsy. There wasn't an, a Mercy. N none of the receipts for that kind of thing was in there. It was just a little handwritten note that said, thank you for your payment. And let me tell you later, that happened to my ex when we lived in Columbus. I, he came home, I came home one night, he was madder than crap at me. He said, what are you spending money? What are you doing? What are you, what are you give? I don't, how much was he? On, on and on. Later? Oh, even mad. Or Bonnie's going to tell the whole story about what she's going to tell well, me later. Yeah, so. He had a marble jacket sent to him. Anyway, the, the marble, yes. we don't know where it came from. Rick is bad to send me little uh, treats without a note, but oh. I don't know why. I just don't think it's from him. I just don't. But if it was one of you, thank you very much. And next time, send a note, please, so I'll know who to thank. And it's so funny, though, because my cousin Jamie 
got an art print on her birthday with no information other than the artist. And then she got something else. I don't remember what it was last night. And uh, she doesn't know who's sending it to her either. Call Ben real quick because he's trying to call me. But anyway, we don't know what's going on. Would like to, though. And again, thank you to whoever did it. It was very nice of you. Push, push you called it. Your mom's videoing. Uh, I did not know that. Anyway, does she want 6% average flow? Is there a price difference? They're both 229 Then get thick. Get one of each. One of each? Yeah. One of each. Okay, goodbye. Alrighty, that's second. Bye. So we just got back from a nice little lunch out. Bonnie spent a fortune, didn't you, Bonnie? Yeah. I was I had sticker shock at the prices. I'm I don't know why it surprised me. Everything's gone up. Yeah. You would think I would have been expecting it, but we went to Der Dutchman. And I was going to film a little there, but no no kidding. I was that surprised by the prices. I forgot to film. Um, ben and I had the buffet, and I think it was, what, seventeen fifty each? At least, yeah. Which was not worth it. It, it wasn't worth it, especially for Ben. Ben basically paid $17.50 for three pieces of chicken. And I paid that. Well, Bonnie paid it, but you know what I mean paid that for one plate of food and some rolls. Although it was pretty meat heavy. It was like half a pound of roast beef on it. And it was really good roast beef. But um, it's expensive when you look at it that way. Because we could have gone to the steakhouse Bonnie likes for that kind of money. Yeah. And it had been cheaper because she has gift cards unless she gave them away. You gave them away, didn't you? Yeah. You still got them? Yeah, she's saving them to take her hot date. She's going to take mate. John over there. Oh, boy. You probably will. No. You were talking about it last night. Us three going. Yeah. Hey, John, you want to go to Deer Dutch? Oh, John, you want to go to Roadhouse? Name the date. You need Des go. I'll ride in the back seat again. I uh, heard you have. I am. You rode in the back seat the first time. I, yeah, I rode in the back seat the first time, John. It wasn't you. That's how I found out it gets so hot back there. Just let me know. You want to go? We'll go. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for steak. My got gift cards, too. Yep. You can pay what's left over after it. There won't be any left over after it. You yeah. got two things of gift cards. Uh, I only got $70. Mm. Credit. Okay. It might be a little bit less, but that's okay. But anyway, so we went to Der Dutchman today. I got this stuff. It was called, what, what did I say it was called? Mystery pie. No, that wasn't what it was called. Surprise pie. Uh, Bonnie doesn't remember, neither do I. Is it pie or mystery, something like that? It, it's, it didn't have the word mystery in it. It's like pie fluff. It's like they're cream pies and crust and whipped cream. And like one part of the, the fluff will be coconut cream pie. And another part will be peanut butter pie. And another part will be chocolate. And other than looking at the color, you don't know what you're going to get. And, but it's not blended together. It's just together in one dessert. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I don't know how I found room for it, but I enjoyed it. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I know. I'm taping him. You get upset. You got his face. I didn't get his face. Oh. He's got his hoodie up. All done? Yep. Hey, Benny. Yeah, you know, I got bumps back here. Watch, dear. Um, so can we take this stuff to my place real quick? You don't care, do you, Ben? I don't care. I'll take it here. Hold on, let me get situated. I'll lay you down for a minute. Sorry, Internet. Doo -doo -doo. Now we're going to McDonald's. Because Mama needs root beer.
Here's two coins, Mom. Well, just hang on to it for right now. Did you get Grandma's prescription okay? They said they didn't have it. What did they say exactly? That it was apparently, it was called into there. Or they have to get it called into there. Well, they told her they had it. And it would be ready at 3.30 today. At 5.12 now. I even had them check that because I told, because when I told them that their phone said that they had it, guess what? What? They didn't download their profile and it said the same thing according to them. It said 5.30 to, or 3.30 today? It, no, it said that it had to be called in. They don't know what they're doing. There's a reason I quit going to them. They really don't know what end is up in there. And one of them will tell you one thing, and then the one right next to you tell you something completely different. Looking at the same computer yeah. screen. Uh, pharmacies. Turning into the bane of my existence, seriously. So, okay. Let's see. What's going on with the moisturizer? I was going to tell you something. There was something new with moisturizer, and I can't remember what it was. Ah, it must have been a lie. Was it a big fat lie? Big fat lie. So that means, okay, last night, I or last time I taped, I said I think I was down to three moisturizers, but I was wrong because it's four. Because I've got that special moisture mask I use on my lips, which I need to use because I'm peeling a little bit. So I still think four moisturizers is a ridiculous amount for any one person. I really do. But I can't find one that does it all, you know what I mean? It's just weird. Oh, that receipt that had the Milky Ways on it gave me 79 points. Cool. It's a bit too soon for me to use the daily one, though. Well, hang on to Bonnie's and you can use it later. Or do you want to, a McDonald's coupon? Or your not coupon. For your protection, receipt. Ben? I would like a receipt from somewhere. From McDonald's? Okay. Well, Bonnie, we got to get a McDonald's receipt. So poor Chris didn't get to go with us today, which is too bad. He really likes Dr. Dutchman. But um, he had our... I'm sure he did something fun today. I don't know what they did. Hey, Manny, can I get you another big favor? What? Put my device charging. So it'll shut up. Which device? She's wearing it around her neck. She'll give it to you when we get there. My safety unit. Her help, I've fallen and I can't get up, but... I don't know how. I'll just show you. She'll show you. Don't worry. You put the spot on his face. You'll be having the button push it up. Say, yeah, just wait till talking. we yeah. just wait till we get then there. Then we'll start talking about you got a daughter. But anyway, Ben, you got anything else to add? What's been going on at our house? Oh, well, not honestly, not a whole lot. No. I got the most exciting thing to happen at our house is that I got. Um, Well, no, that's not true. But I got some uh, hot dog buns so we could have chili dogs tomorrow. <laughs> so that's exciting. We haven't had them probably since summer. And I don't know why. We just kind of went off of them there for a little while. But, Who knows, but chili cheese dogs, please. What is 2023? So bear me. Bear me. That's what his shirt says. 2023. Bear me. Oh, the pride. Beer or bear? Beer. B E E R. So, okay, we decided to change mom's sheets the other day. And she likes me to flip her mattress while we're doing that. So we got the sheets off, we're getting ready to flip the mattress, and I see a dog toy on the floor. So I bend over to pick it up, and it felt like something in my tummy ripped. It hurt and burnt so bad that I couldn't straighten up. And let me just add that it went on hurting and burning for about 10 minutes, and I really couldn't move. It, just all I could do was sit in the chair and press on it. I thought I gave myself a hernia or something. It really hurts so bad. So anyway, I'm there and I'm like dying and mom comes over and I'm stuck, right? And mom comes over to see what's wrong with me. 
and stumbles and falls into her bedside table. And now it's half collapsed and ruined. And she was out of breath and banged up a little bit. And then the dog came over to see what was going on and tripped me and knocked a bunch of stuff onto the floor. And all of this happened in the space of about two and a half minutes. It, it was just a catastrophe. And it took a hot minute to get everything back to being normal, and except for my stomach, which is still not back to normal, by the way. Um, but I said that was enough excitement right there for the entire year. And we can stop having exciting things happen now and just try to live because <laughs> that was no fun whatsoever. Oh, we got a little line today. What's been going on with Chris? He's been He's been hmm. We got to pick up our Harry Potter Sunday, don't we, Ben? Yep. Maybe we'll watch it Sunday night. How's that sound? All right. What one is the first one? Yes, one more. Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, I do. So we're gonna watch Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Welcome Ben's never go. seen it. So that'll be pretty interesting. No. I need a large root beer with extra ice, that's all. How about what? I'm back up for all the rain's coming through the window. Oh, here. So we got a new Harry Potter book, didn't we, Ben? I think we showed it in our last video, didn't we? Yep. The Book of Wands. I was kind of flipping through it. It's interesting. It's hard to believe how much crap there is for Harry Potter. Just something made up. Just a book. And if you wanted to, you could spend a million dollars on all the memorabilia and stuff and not have it all. I mean, that is ridiculous. Like, um, one of the YouTubers I watch bought the Lost Diadem of Ravenclaw, and I think she paid like $330 for it. And I'm sure they have more expensive replicas made with real silver and gold and stuff, you know. Just outrageous how much money you can spend on it. Kind of makes me wish I had a piece of that action. We got your job. It's getting packed now. Yeah, I know. So, okay, Crit Benny, do you have a thought for today or a quote? Uh, it may be a little bit of both. What? It's not the words that you say, but what the silence will scream. Wow, ah, what's that from? Oh, that's from one of my Radio U songs. Ah, okay. I'm trying to think of a Harry Potter quote since I was just talking about it. It does not d pay to dwell on the past and forget to live. There, I remembered one. At least I think that's right. If it isn't, I don't want to know. So, take care of yourselves. Come see us in a couple days. I'm sure we'll be up to no good. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And ring that bell so you'll be notified, hopefully. Because I know it doesn't always notify. But so you'll be notified and you'll know when we post a video since we're not on a regular schedule now. And if you are the one who sent me the perfume, please let me know because I'd really like to know. And thank you to whoever did it. And we will talk to you later. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.